What it do, what it do. Providers, welcome back to the channel, man. If you're new here, man, hit that like button. Smash on that subscribe button for more, man. I'm in this damn refrigerator right now, y'all. Right here in the area where they kind of like stage the loads at. Guy right here helping me get my uh, truck unloaded. And normally they stage all the pallets and shit right here. When the loads is getting ready to go out. But it's just crazy, man. I picked up some real interesting delicatessen style foods just now that I wanted to share with you guys, man. I mean, you know, out here in the U.S., we eat a lot of cow, turkey, uh, chicken, fish, and stuff like that. Because some of these people be ordering some way out stuff, man. The real shit I've never seen, man. Let me find a couple boxes of this shit and show y'all, man. Just seen a box with some damn snails in it. I guess they just steam that and cook that and eat it like how we eat crabs. But uh, it's a lot of different stuff, man. Majority of the stuff be shrimp and stuff like that. But uh, a lot of this stuff I just, I never seen before, man. Like those pallets right there, he just snatched off my truck. Let me show you what that is, man. Let's go up in here, let me show you, man. Some shit. What is it? There it is, silk worms. Right here, y'all. Cooked silk worms. Wifey told me they create silk or whatever, but I don't know what the hell. It come from Vietnam, so I guess they gonna drop that in the soup or something, man. This too. Golden thread fin bream. That's some type of fish, y'all. That ain't no orange roughy, man. I don't want it, man. Perch, you know, whiting, shit like that. This too, man. Look at this, man. Look at this, y'all. Sneaking this in. Look at this. Damn snail, y'all. Snail, like, it's probably full of meat, you know what I mean? I don't want none, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I guess they steam it, probably broil it, like how we do crab boils. Look at that big old thing, man. Full of meat, y'all. Snail. Take a couple of these home, man. Drop it in a small pot of water, tell y'all how it tastes later. I'm just capping to you, man. But yeah, I'm in this damn refrigerator, man. It's burning up outside, man. See, I'm hoodied down. But it's a trip, man. When you go through this damn little area, woo, it's like we in Antarctica, guys. Look at this shit here, man. Parrot fish. The fuck is that, y'all? All kind of shit, man. They got shit everywhere, man. Somebody need to come organize this. And whoever worked back here, they got their work cut. I'm hip to swai. It's a good white fish. What we got over here? Frozen yellow croaker. Look at that shit falling. It's like it's snowing in here, man. It's cold as shit in here, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Just want to show you guys the freezer area. It's like we in Antarctica, man. Big bags of shrimp, man. I know these dudes, a lot of this shit be damaged. I'm pretty sure these workers be swiggling this shit and taking it home. But they got cameras everywhere. They not gonna never trick me out of my spot, you know what I mean, about no bag of shrimp or nothing like that. Dude already got at me before, talking about a, mixing, a missing box of shrimp uh, from one of the customers I went to, guys. And like I told him, man, when I got there, you know, the way the story goes, you know, I got there, I was taking a load of shrimp. When I got there, I guess the customer I was delivering to, he had his customer there. And when I got there, as soon as I pulled up, he immediately told the dude to snatch one of them boxes of shrimp off my pallet. So when I get back to uh, the warehouse, which is right here, this big old refrigerator we in, guy jacked me up talking about a, a missing box of shrimp. So I was just trying to, I stayed calm, you know what I mean? Because one thing I'm not, man, I'm not a thief. That's the damn show. I don't need to steal no $100 box of shrimp. Like, come on, man. Are you serious? Like, if I'm going to take some, I'm going to take the whole damn truck, man. That's what I was going to tell him if he kept pushing the issue. He just told me don't worry about it because, like I told him, you know, I had to refresh my memory and I called him back and let him know like hey man you know when I got there da 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 the dude gave one of his customers a box of the shrimp off the pallet when I got there so why don't you give him a call back and refresh you know you guys this customer memory about that box that he snatched off and maybe when they counted everything up you know they didn't add in the box that they took off the uh the pallet when I got there so they didn't push it no more, but I was sure off to let them know, like, I, you know, I am a gangster, man. If I was going to take some, I would take the whole damn truck, man, and be slanging shrimp to every restaurant in the West L.A. district. You know what I mean? All the way to East L.A. with all them shrimp I would have had. But I'm not no thief, man. 
But yeah, guys, another beautiful day in California, man. Los Angeles here, we grinding. The forklifts is out. The palace is being taken off, man. I'm gonna go back for my second pickup of uh, seafood. I don't know what they got for me when I get down there. I gotta go pick up my truck when I get out of here and take it back to the house. I'll be able to show Chetty Chai and Wifey because they coming back in town today. And uh, yeah, I got an appointment tomorrow to go get that thing inspected, take it to the Volvo dealer, have them check everything out, man. Make sure that thing is running up to par, man. But uh, I just want to tap in with you guys real quick, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate every last one of you, man. I seen all the positive feedback I was getting when I, you know, took delivery of our first truck, that Volvo, man. Guys, I've been working real hard and diligently, man, creating my own authority too, man. My US DOT number, my motor carrier permit, all my different filings that I got to do with the government and the state, basically to even operate a trucking company. Like I say, it's more than just getting a truck and putting gas in it and going. You know, the insurance quotes is coming back crazy, but you got to have all that stuff in place, man, before you can go out there and start pulling people's product. You know, you get loads like this, $100,000, $200,000 loads. You got to have your cargo insurance in place. You got to have everything. All your T's got to be crossed and all your I's got to be dotted, man, before you get behind the wheel and get to doing your stuff out here getting your money, man. But I was just laughing because it's like I pretty much jumped over one of the steps that's in trucking. It's kind of like, to me, I look at it, it's like it's three phases of trucking, man. When you come into the game, you're going to be a company driver. That's when you get all your, your bumps and bruises and you learn in the game and you and you driving somebody else's truck and you working for companies and you meeting people and you basically learning how the trucking industry goes. After that, the second step will be to get your own truck as I did, but don't, you know, what you would do is go and lease your truck on to a larger carrier and basically like they just, you know, you, you're leasing your truck to them, man. You're still working under their company, but you have your own truck. So therefore you'll be making a, quite a substantial, a little bit more money than just being a company driver. And the last step, which is number three, will be basically having your own authority and setting up your own company to where at that point you can have several trucks, you can start building your fleet. Uh, other guys you know that don't have an authority but are good drivers and have their own trucks, they can go ahead and work under your numbers, man. So I just skipped over step two, man, and just jumped straight to the authority, man. I do got a lot of experience, you know what I mean? I'm a fast learner. And uh, if you got the money in place, go for it, man. Shoot for the stars, man. And uh, that's what I did, man. I pulled the trigger. So we got our truck. We created the uh, authority. I got the insurance quotes. I'm waiting on them to come back. Uh, all the filing with the government in the state of California, all that's going to take about two months, y'all. So yeah, I don't got much longer, man. Driving other people's equipment, listening to all this shit, talking about a box of shrimp, man. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna be putting up with them type of uh, accusations and people, you know, raising your eyebrow and looking at you like that, like you done took something, man, at least you'll be doing it in the comforts of your own equipment, man. And you know, no money is worth getting humiliated, but you, shit, I'm gonna be making the big bucks at that point, and it don't matter, man. But yeah, man, just tapping in with y'all, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna do my part, man. Y'all keep doing y'all part, man. Uh, like this vlog up. It's big ass fridge, man. It's cold as shit, man. And uh, I got a new giveaway, man. I'm giving away some silk worms, man, to some of them snails, man, to the lucky winner. No more Amazon gift cards, man. I'm gonna shoot y'all a box of these snails, and some of these silk worms, man. I'm just capping to y'all, man. But I'm out, man. I'm going to let y'all go, man. Like I say, man, subscribe to the channel for more, man. Peace. Have a good one, y'all. I'm out.